It's all Star Wars. If you've been involved in the fast food scene, you have probably experienced the crispy chicken corridor. Crispy chicken? The crispy chicken corridor is a mental state where time does not pass, and every moment extends into oblivion like an infinite hallway. You know what I'm saying, the shift, the shift never ends. So to pass the time, I came up with fast food speed running. Categories for every burger, Big Mac percent, Nugget percent, McFlurry percent, and my personal favorite, Customer percent, where you see just how stupid you can get with a customer without pissing them off. Your food, sir. Uh, uh, uh. I don't want to brag, but uh, I hold all the world records in all categories, including the all-new Travis Scott percent. Naturally, I got bored because, you know, I was just too good. I decided to move on to Jedi Fallen Order speedrunning. They're actually very similar in a lot of ways. Now, we all know Fallen Order is a perfectly balanced game with no exploits, except for glitching yourself into the air, skipping entire sections of the game, etc. Now, there are a lot of segments where you're required to use force abilities. Force slow, force push, force pull, force air, Fire Force? I didn't watch Fire Force, but I heard it was good. You can't beat the game without ever using the Force, but you can complete it in just 9 uses. Cut the cameras. And that's what this video is about. And now, you will watch it, and I'll make a ton of YouTube money, and Marin might finally date me. Yeah, I drive a Jeep Wrangler. My boyfriend. I do not like Prof because he looks like a cow. Some cows, like the free range ones or the American milking Devons, they're, they're okay. I know a good cow when I see one. But some cows are heavily addicted to RBST and Prof is definitely doing RBST. Baba boy. I was also forced to use slow to save him from falling when I wanted to be the one to push him off. Now the first avoidable obstacle was this train car. So I collapse, I'm spilling these rats long as you feel Not the train car itself, but uh, the giant spinning wheel inside it. So I collapse, I'm spilling these rats long as you feel The game wants you to climb the wheel by using four slow on it, but if you remember from the last video, you can use a speedrunning tech called target lock jump where you get a text from your celebrity crush and get a massive jump boost from excitement. I use this boost to get on top of the train and get to the second sister. On Bagano, the only thing you have to worry about is this fan, which you can get past in exchange for a degenerative lumbar spondylothesis. Tight fit, but this should work. Side note, I am not counting wall running and double jumping as force use. If these require force, then Titanfall and Spongebob have some crazy hidden lore. They should call Titanfall 3 Titan Stumble. <laughs> Zephbo was the first real test. A test of strength. A test of courage. Every freaking time! When I came up with this video idea, I kind of forgot that all the devs previously worked in construction because they had a thing for dropping random moving machinery all over the planet. I tried to get onto this windmill normally without slowing it, and then figured out I could use these scout troopers to get a target lock jump. We don't even have to try here! Ah! Well, that was cool. Ah oh, yes, the wind turbines. What a turbulent issue. Do I use the rats to target lock jump? No. Can I grab the ledge of the rafter? Not a chance. After about an hour of trying this, I decided to enlist help from a friend. Welcome back to Speedrunning with Stormtrooper, where I show you the best strategies for speedrunning Jedi Fallen Order. Today, we are going to be looking at pause buffer clipping, a method of pausing games on certain frames to glitch through objects or barriers. Pause buffer clipping in Fallen Order allows you to phase through doors, skipping entire portions of the game. Simply enter and exit camera mode, turn your frame rate to 45 FPS, and press Alt Tab in the middle of performing a leaping slash. If you hit the correct frame, you should be on the other side of the door. This has been Speedrunning with Stormtrooper. After a full day of trying to do this trick, I was able to PBC through the cave door and skip the wind turbines. Oh shoot bro, I almost forgot to show the slammers. That would have been awkward. But uh, yeah, there you go. Now I hope the tomb of Eelram wasn't sacred, because I committed many four sins. Purge the sinful from our home. This is the tomb where you learn push, and there is no way around it. Since you just learned the ability, they like to dump objects everywhere to push. You can PBC through this first crumbling wall, but not the absolute unit of a door leading into the puzzle room. Did you put your name into the Goblet of Fire? 
All right, ignore that joke. Just ignore that joke. The puzzle itself required a lot of ball pushing and... Wait, what's that? There's a glitch to skip the entire ball puzzle by ledge canceling in this corner? Thanks, Stormtrooper. Unfortunately, this glorified mini golf course is your only way out of the tomb, and pushing this metal grate is the trigger for the ball to become a movable object. Add two more uses. This rock wall is also an unmovable object. Add another use. And from this point, things began to pick up rapidly because, believe it or not, the moment I landed in the water, it only took me an hour to reach the end of the game. The entire second half of the run is provided by the speedrunning community because 90% of it is spent out of bounds and heavily involves abuse of teleportation triggers, loading triggers, and basic trig. There is a lot of sequence breaking in this section, and the exploits I pulled off frightened me. Scary, bro. As if I were tampering with some strange, unknown magic that only hackers use. Maybe I am a hacker. The first skip is one I've used before in a previous video. Okay, okay. It lets you okay. skip the entire sequence of the first Kashyyyk visit by returning to the ship early. Boom. Now, the next step would be to go to Zepho again to get Force Pull and Powered Zipline, but those aren't that important, so uh, just stay on Kashyyyk. This pipe is impossible to get around, so go ahead and push it down. Use this trooper to jump onto the ledge above, and then use this caterpillar to get on top of all these roots. Dash over to the wall. Fall inside it and dash strike onto the slope, where you can use this guy to jump up through the ceiling down and into the bottom of the lake. Go ahead and cross the lake until you get to the small town of Silent Hill. And continue along the path until you see a black root. Dash striking from this route will let you hit the loading trigger, which will now allow you to go to this lake and reach the Wookiee Manager early. I'm sorry, pull who? From this point, go ahead and get double jump. This is the most important power to get because once acquired, spamming slow and jump will let you gain infinite height and allow you to fly anywhere Kind of overpowered, right? Yeah, so why are they allowing these football teams to exist? Alright boys, this is the final chapter. A lot of flying, a lot of glitching, and a little bit of Marin. I don't really know what to say about this section. I mean, you don't have to do anything on Dathomir. You just fly. There is this door that you have to force open, and I thought it would be another use. But I found a spot inside the temple that has no collision and you can just fly out. In the Order 66 scene, you literally just fly out of bounds and find the trigger for the cutscene, and that's it. For whatever reason though, Cal decided to open these doors with the force instead of, you know, the button. So, that's two more uses. You don't have to do anything on Elam, you just fly to the crystal and fly back. Fly to Dathomir again and skip the entire Malikos fight, quick trip to Bagano, and then fly to Nur, where you can literally glitch above all the hallways, fly into the interrogation chamber, and fly out, which makes the game think you've already initiated the Vader chase scene, so when you go back to the elevator, he'll just appear there like... You got games on your phone? No? Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'll download Temple Run. I'll let you participate in my clan war! Also, since we can skip this course, we can now technically beat the game without using a lightsaber. So, that's cool. And by the way, this is what happens if you reach Jara to Paul through the opposite door. Oh. I hate Thanos, bro. Thank you for watching the entire video, and thank you for all the support on the last video too. I definitely like doing reviews more than these challenges. I feel like it fits my editing style better, so... I'm glad you guys are on board with more. Two more things I want to say. One, I now have over 400 gigabytes of Jedi Fallen Order footage. <laughs> Two, to the guy that keeps commenting, she left me for a 2007 Ford Focus. What is that supposed to mean? It's on every single video. I feel like I'm missing out on a huge joke. Anyways, I'm gonna go make myself a sandwich. New video in two weeks.